Catherine, I have been watching you since early June and taking notes. In July, my EGFR was 29 and creatinine was 3.1. I had my labs done October 30 and my EGFR is now 36 and creatinine is 2.6. Oh, wow! What an incredible transformation! From stage 4 back to stage 3 in just 3 months! That's huge! Congratulations! And that's not even the best part! Catherine here, I'm a doctor of natural medicine. Welcome to today's video lecture. The comment I just read you is from one of my subscribers and he is called IronWheel78. He has taken a powerful, proactive approach to his CKD treatment and his results absolutely outstanding. He has combined detoxifiers, supplements, and lifestyle changes in a way that makes a real difference. And today we are going to learn from his success. <laughs> Look at this. I started on acacia fiber, baking soda two times a day, CoQ10 and heavy prebiotic. I already had my type two diabetes reversed from 9.3 to now 5.4. Hold on, let's take a second to appreciate this. His HbA1c, the primary diabetes marker, went from 9.3, which is uncontrolled diabetes, down to 5.4, which is in the normal range. This means he has effectively controlled his type 2 diabetes. And all of this achieved through strategic supplementation and dietary changes. Just incredible! Now, in his comment, he also shared with us a recipe that he uses to take his blood pressure from 170 over 100 down to 125 over 85. That's a game changer! Let's take a look at it. By the way, if you try this recipe, make sure you monitor your blood pressure. These ingredients are powerful. They can significantly lower blood pressure. So be cautious, we don't want it dropping too low. Here it is. Three cloves, fresh garlic, diced or chopped. Yes, this is great. Just remember to give the garlic about five minutes before adding the other ingredients. This helps activate allicin, its most potent compound. Next ingredient, one scoop powder crushed beets. Beets are rich in nitrates, which help relax blood vessels and lower blood pressure and even bring more blood to the kidneys. Next, one scoop magnesium. Fantastic! But only if your levels are in the right range. More on that in a second. Next, one scoop super greens. Then, one fourth cup flax seeds. And also, open up two capsules of cayenne pepper, a powerhouse ingredient. Cayenne pepper can boost circulation, improve metabolism, and help lower blood pressure. And that's it. Now, guys, this is his personal mix not mine. I actually add lemon, ginger, and some berries to my garlic smoothie just to make it a little more palatable. But hey, if you try this, let me know what you think. And be careful with magnesium supplementation, especially if you are in stage 4 or 5 of CKD. I'd prefer you test for magnesium levels before taking this supplement. And here's the real takeaway. This man didn't just take random supplements, he got informed, he researched, he watched my videos, he figured out what worked best for him, and he built a personalized strategic approach to his kidney health. That is how you fight CKD. So let's do exactly that in today's video. Let's break this down and see what we can learn from his success. Because what we are looking at here is a blueprint. Iron Will 78 put together a plan that worked for him. So what can we learn from him? Let's get into it. And guys, if this inspires you, if you think this is valuable information, make sure to like this video 
and share it with someone who needs to hear this. Because this, this is how we take control of our health. Now, based on the supplements and foods that work for Iron Will 78, I'm going to break it all down for you. Let's go over which ones you might need, how they work, and most importantly, how to take them correctly. Because one of the most impressive results Iron Will 78 achieved is lowering his HbA1c from 9.3 to 5.4. Now, let me be very clear. If a patient came to me with an HbA1c of 9.3, I would be extremely concerned. That's severe, uncontrolled diabetes. We're talking about blood sugar that's been dangerously high for months. And what does that mean? Kidney damage, eye damage, heart disease, peripheral neuropathy, limb amputation, and more. A HbA1c that high, that's not just a warning sign. That's a full-blown alarm. If you have an HbA1c this high, don't wait. You need immediate medical attention. Yeah, that means medications. What? And I know, I know, I'm a naturopath. You're expecting me to say, oh no, medications are bad. Just take some supplements. But here's the thing. Some medications might be hard on the kidneys, but nothing is worse than letting high blood sugar wreck your body. Okay, guys? I'm serious here. Never skip your medications. Now, his HbA once he went from 9.3 back to 5.4. Let's see how he did this with supplements and lifestyle choices. First big change, he cut out animal protein. Now, if you listen to the internet gym bros and keto influencers, you'd think that the more protein you eat, the lower your HbA once you will be, right? But in reality, the opposite is true. The less protein you eat, the lower your HbA once you is going to be. How? Let me explain. You see, weight loss is the best way to lower your HbA once you naturally. And high protein foods are usually high in calories. Think hamburgers, steaks, barbecue, lots of calories. But if you cut those out, replace them with fruit, vegetables, whole grains, boom! Diabetes levels improve. So the other thing he is doing for his diabetes is lifting weights. And I love this. Lifting weight is amazing for diabetes. Yeah, I know this sounds counterintuitive. I mean, everyone tells you to do cardio to lower blood sugar, right? But hear me out on this. Lifting weight is the best thing you can do for diabetes. In fact, muscles store and use sugar for energy. The more muscle you have, the more sugar your body can use. Science says this also helps your body use insulin better. So if you're wondering whether you should get a gym membership and start lifting weights, yes, do it. It works. Now, let's talk about supplements. One thing Iron Will 78 swears by, prebiotics. He mentions both prebiotics and acacia fiber. Prebiotics are basically fiber, all right? And fiber is food for the gut microbiota, extremely helpful for the kidneys as well. In fact, your gut health is directly linked to your kidney health. I always recommend acacia fiber, psyllium husk, and most importantly, whole grains. Because fiber slows down sugar absorption, keeps you full, and supports gut health. And for diabetes, this is gold. Now, he also mentioned magnesium. Magnesium supplementation is great for diabetes because it improves insulin sensitivity. But, and this is very important, it only works if you're actually deficient. So keep that in mind. If you have a magnesium deficiency, a supplement is your best friend. But if you don't, you don't need to take magnesium, all right? Now, something that I always recommend for diabetes is berberine, or as some people call it, nature's metformin. And let's talk about chromium picolinate. Chromium is an essential trace mineral that stabilizes blood sugar by improving insulin sensitivity. A deficiency in chromium actually has the same symptoms as 
diabetes. So if you're dealing with high blood sugar, this is something worth looking into. Something else he mentioned that can make a huge difference with diabetes and CKD is sodium bicarbonate. Let's see why and how to use it. Now guys, monitoring their body acidity is something all CKD patients should be doing, not just those with diabetes. In fact, having too much acid in blood is a common problem in CKD and you must take action as soon as your lab reports says so. Now, for people with diabetes, having too much acid in blood is a way bigger problem than for anyone else. This is mainly due to the way diabetes damages the kidneys, but it's also due to incorrect dietary recommendations diabetic patients receive. Remember what I was saying about being constantly told to eat more protein? Yeah, that. Now, the general population would have immediate issues if they eat, you know, meat, cheese, poultry, and so on. But for someone with kidney disease, especially if diabetes is present, eating these foods can create immediate problems. So start replacing meat, cheese, and poultry with healthier, plant-based choices immediately. By the way, I see a lot of patients that after watching my videos decide to start a low-protein diet. However, they are worried about not getting enough protein. So maybe they keep eating some eggs or some poultry. Guys, don't do that. No one ever eats too little protein. That just doesn't happen, all right? Actually, if you are still eating high protein foods with diabetes and CKD, what may happen is that your serum bicarbonate becomes too low. This is when your doctor should consider a sodium bicarbonate prescription. Now, you shall be able to see on screen some instructions on how to take sodium bicarbonate. And yeah, I know all of this should be your doctor's job, not yours. Which brings me to my most existential question. How do you get your doctor to actually do their job? I mean, seriously, if only half of doctors spent as much time keeping up with the latest CKD research as they do arguing with their patients, we'd have half as many people on dialysis. But hey, at least they'll never miss an opportunity to tell you that potassium is bad for you, right? Now guys, at this point, it's crystal clear that in order to reverse stage 4 kidney disease, Iron Wheel 78 did a lot more than just taking supplements. And don't get me wrong, lowering both blood sugar and blood pressure that much is a huge achievement. This alone can dramatically slow down kidney disease progression, but slowing it down is one thing. What we're looking at here is an improvement, and that requires more than just supplements. So what's the most important step towards a better kidney function, you ask? This right here makes the biggest difference. If you want to get the absolute most out of Iron Wheel 78's experience, this is the first and most important step. The diet! Because let's face it, lowering blood sugar and blood pressure with supplements, that's great, but it can also be done with medications. But there are no drugs that can replace a low-protein diet. None. There are no binders, no detoxifiers, no magic pills that can stop the toxic waste from protein from accumulating and destroying your kidneys. So you want to improve? Start here. Now guys, I also want to mention a couple of supplements he is taking to support his low protein diet. Because yeah, protein damages the kidneys, but here's the thing. Animal-based foods have certain vitamins in them that you won't get from a plant-based diet. So what supplements are a must for a low-protein diet? First and foremost, a renal multivitamin. Now, if you are in the US, finding a good renal multivitamin is extremely easy. You are spoiled for choice. There are so many brands you can choose from, including MyProRenal, Renavite, Dailyvite, even microtics he mentioned and some more most of these brands are all about the same they do a decent enough job of putting together the vitamins you need by the way you should be seeing on screen a list of the vitamins you need right now feel free to take a screenshot or to take some notes just like iron wheel 78 did 
Because if you are not in the US, finding a renal multivitamin can be a challenge. For some reason, all these brands are US based and only ship to certain countries. If you are in Europe, not on Amazon. If you are in Southeast Asia or India, good luck finding them at all. And trust me, I know this struggle. I work with patients from all over the world and finding the right supplements for non-US patients is always a headache. So much so that years ago, I even made a video on how to get vitamin pills to create a cheap custom multivitamin that's also safe for CKD patients. And here is where I need your help. If you are from one of these countries and you know where to find a good renal multivitamin, drop a comment below. I will be eternally grateful. Anyway, I believe we learn a lot from Iron Will 78 story. Guys, this man is an inspiration. He took his health into his own hands, put in the work, made sacrifices and look where he is now. He went from stage 4 CKD back to stage 3, reversed his diabetes, dropped his blood pressure, and changed his entire lifestyle. He is living proof that improvement is possible. So thank you Iron Will 78 for sharing your incredible journey. And if you want to see more success stories like this one, watch the next video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Ciao.